So this is an update I did to a video about two years ago where I discussed my contracting rate. You can see that here. Link will be in the description if you want the context of the full journey of my contracting rate. But, you know, it's been two years since that video. Uh, you know, my contracting rate has gone up quite a bit and I want to talk about, you know, how I went from there to here. So let's go. Before we dive in, let's start with a disclaimer, right? I just want to share my experience, what, what I'm doing, my information. This is not meant to be a here's what your contracting rate should be at four years experience, right? Every situation is different depending on, you know, what country you live in, what your market is like. Are you contracting on the side just for side income? Are you contracting to pay the rent? So like finding projects is like imperative. Like all these come into play in like what rate you should charge. And if with me anyway, my rate can kind of fluctuate, right? If I really want the project, like it's super fun or maybe I just need the money, I'm willing to like knock my rate down a little bit to make sure I get that contract. Or the opposite side of that, you know, the situation I'm in now where I'm doing YouTube kind of full time, I have a consulting gig, I'm not really looking for a ton of contracts. So I can be picky. I can say this is my rate, take it or leave it, right? I, it's kind of a supply and demand thing. So again, I just want to point out there's a lot of factors at play when determining your rate. So now that that's out of the way, like let's get to what you're here for, right? Let's talk about the number. My current contracting rate is $125 an hour. Now let me give you some career context real quick. I'll give you my life story here. Uh, I have about four years experience in iOS development. Uh, I spent five years in Silicon Valley working at startups. Four of those years were developing at startups, building you know MVPs, all that stuff. I've probably worked on or built about 10 production apps between all the various contracting I've done and the various startups I've worked at. So that's the quick career context. And then another thing that I have going for me that is unique, and again, I want you to just use me as one data point, not the instruction book on how to do this, right? Is I do have this YouTube channel and the Twitter following, which is amazing marketing for getting contracts, right? I get emails about contracts all the time. I have to turn down 90% of them, right? So take that with a grain of salt because like I can kind of afford to be like, you know, raise my rate because again, it's all about supply and demand. Um, maybe the little takeaway you can take from there is, you know, start a blog, start a YouTube channel, start a podcast. Having an online presence for marketing definitely helps. And the way I'm going about my rate is I am raising it every time I negotiate a new contract. I'm trying to find my breaking point. If you watched the last video I posted when I was charging 70 an hour, I said nobody ever batted an eye at it. So like I'm probably charging less. So what I started doing was every new contract, I was like, okay, now my rate's 85. Nobody batted an eye. Okay, now it's 100. <laughs> nobody batted an eye. Now it's 125. Again, nobody batted an eye. And then finally, just recently, probably in the last month, I was negotiating a contract and I said 150 and I finally got the first pushback where they kind of pushed me back down to 125. I didn't end up like doing that contract because it was too time consuming. Um, but that was the first pushback I got was at 150. So maybe that's a lesson, you know, whatever your number is, right? Everybody's number is gonna be different. Anytime you negotiate a new contract, keep trying to bump that up until you find like the breaking point. And a quick note on that, right? Just because one person says no, doesn't necessarily mean your price is way too high. Wait till you get a couple no's before you start saying, okay, I've found my market rate. But like I said, my rate can fluctuate. Like I said, if I really wanna work with the team, you know, I'll lower it. And again, vice versa, if it's like a contract I, I don't really want, maybe I'll throw out a high rate. And if they say yes, like, great. So that's kind of the main point here. Uh, again, just wanted to share my information. Again, one data point, don't take this as a, as a how-to, um, but hopefully you had some takeaways from this. That is my contracting rate currently, $125 an hour. But again, every new contract I get, I'm going to try to bump it up and, and see what happens.